What's up guys? My name is Brendan and in this tutorial I want to teach you how to do the inward 360 dive roll. This trick is one of my favorite transitions. So today I'm going to show you a progression for learning it, the technique behind performing it, and a few tips that you should know if you really want to master your inward 360 dive roll. We have a lot of room to cover, so with that said, let's get started. First, I want to show you a progression for learning this trick, and I'd recommend you start in a stag position, so having both legs in about a 90 degree angle. From here, we're going to put one arm on the ground for support. If your left leg is in the back like me, you're going to take your left arm and put it on the ground. Then we're going to take our back leg, for me it will be my left leg, and I'm going to kick it through this little hole I made with my arm and my right leg. After I kick that leg through the hole, my goal is then to rotate around this leg, twisting to my left as I do a roll traveling forwards. And that's all the trick is. When you're first learning it, start in that stag position with almost no power. Put that hand on the ground for support. Kick that leg through, then do a little jump to roll forward. Now, once you get comfortable with that, instead of starting in that stag position, you can start in kind of a low standing squat and do the same thing. Then, finally, you can add even more power into it and almost jump into it by using that leg as a front swing to generate a ton of height. And that is the progression I would recommend for learning the inward 360 dive roll. Next, I want to talk about the technique behind the inward 360 dive roll in a little bit more detail. And there are three important components that I want to talk about. The first is our swing. When you do the inward 360 dive roll, it's going to start with a back swing. Taking one leg, sticking it behind the body, and swinging it in front. The harder you swing that leg and jump with that base foot, the more height you're going to have when you do the inward 360 dive roll. The second thing I want to talk about is your twist. After you swing that leg and jump up into the air, you have to twist your body. So look towards your twisting side, bring your arms towards your twisting shoulder, and try and bring your legs together. If you do that, twisting, whether it be for this trick or any other trick, will be far easier. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is the collapse. When you finally twist and touch your arms on the ground, you then need to absorb that impact and collapse your arms nice and slowly to make sure you can land soft. When you're doing the inward 360 dive roll, you don't want to crash into the ground. You want to roll nice and smooth. And to do that, you need a good collapse with your arms as you approach the floor. And those are the three important things I think you should think about when it comes to the technique. One, getting a super strong front swing, i.e. the back swing, taking your leg from behind and in front, jumping to give yourself plenty of height. The second is the twist, making sure you're looking towards that twisting side and bringing your body in so that way you can accomplish it with ease. And finally, the collapse, having your arms beneath you and slowly bringing them in as you turn to your shoulder, absorbing as much impact as possible. If you focus on those things, you should have a good technique when you perform the inward 360 dive roll. Next, I want to give you guys three important tips on learning or mastering the inward 360 dive roll. And our first tip is to start slow and then add power. When you're doing the inward 360 dive roll, you want a good smooth roll. You don't want to just crash into the ground, and it's going to take time to develop the skills to collapse smoothly and to roll in a very effective manner. So what I recommend is when you're first learning this trick, don't put in a ton of power and just focus on that smooth roll. Then, once you get more experience, add more and more power until you're able to jump up into the air really high and roll nice and smooth. 
It's not gonna look good if you rush it and add in more power than you're ready for. So take your time and approach this trick with a little bit of slow caution. That way you can scale it up and make it better when you finally master it. Tip number two, use your arms. If you want a good smooth inward 360 dive roll, you need to be using your arms throughout the entire trick. In the very beginning, when you perform your backswing, have your arms behind your body with your leg and then swing them all together to give you plenty of height. Then once you leave the ground, we're gonna use our arms to twist. So we're gonna bring them in towards our center so that way we can condense our mass along our rotational axis. Then once we finish our twist, we need to extend our arms so that way we can resist the impact of our body landing and perform a good smooth collapse. So you need to be using your arms throughout the entire trick if you want a good smooth and good looking inward 360 dive roll. Tip number three, add some style. When you do the inward 360 dive roll, you can pick your body shape once you leave the ground. So after I perform that swing and jump up into the air and start my twist, I can change my body to look however I want. I could cross my legs in the air, I could do prayer hands, I could shoot my arms to the sides. I can do whatever I want to make this trick look more individual and stylize it for my tricking. And when you guys do this, have an open mind and be creative. Don't worry about how it looks in the beginning. Worry about how it makes you feel and then record yourself and make it look good after. If you do that and add a little bit of you into your inward 360 dive roll, it will be far better. And that is how you really master a trick. You understand it in and out, and then you put a little bit of your personal style into it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this channel and the content I produce, go to my website, howtomastertricking.com. There you can pick up the mastering curriculum, which dictates my tricking philosophy to help you guys learn and master the sport. Or you could pick up the new merch, the Masters University Collection. I absolutely love this design, and with each shirt or fleece, I'll be sending you volumes one, two, and three of the mastering curriculum to help you guys really learn. Because it's not just about representing the sport, I also want to help you get better at it. But thank you guys so much for watching, for supporting, and being a part of this community. It means the world to me. Thank you again, and please have a lovely day.